Welcome to a quick tour of the Greylog platform. The Greylog platform provides the next SIM and enterprise log management, which are components of threat detection and incident response done right. Whether starting with central log management and working your way up to a SIM or needing threat detection and incident response, Greylog is here to help you on your journey. Illuminate is for Greylog enterprise log management and Greylog security. You'll have out-of-box parsers, dashboards, and for Greylog security, additional content for threat detection and incident response. These are a perpetual feature list for ongoing security and compliance research bundled in our technology packs called Illuminate. Capturing of data is accomplished through standard inputs and custom integrations for others. You'll see in this list an excessive list of different types of ports used and features inside. Once the data is ingested, it is brought in and sorted into streams, adding context and the availability for valuable analytics and insight. Illuminate is activated in an easy user interface for the data sources you need in your environment. You'll see multiple packs are available for many different types of log sources. Once you have data coming into Greylog, this is where search, dashboards, and reports transform your data. Let's take a look. Directly from search, you can pick from the individual streams that you want to search the data in, or you can actually extend the timeout with a date range. You have the ability to enter in your search criteria in the search window or search bar, or if you want to open a particular log message. For this instance, what I'm going to do is actually do an aggregation of what's been running for application names and show top values. I can do the same thing by going to the field picker on the side and pick the individual field names and bring that into the data itself. I can actually take this chart and duplicate it, and you'll notice we have two columns for the individual hit counts and the percentages. So what I can do is modify this, and in the chart, I'm going to go by percentage. So I'm going to remove the individual count, and I'm going to change the bar chart in this widget and update the widget. I can duplicate this again if I want, and what I can do is change this individual widget to a pie chart. And you'll be able to see this data represented as both. And it's just easy just to drag your data in here and see it. Now, if you wanted to save this, you could save this search, name it, save it for later so you can modify it. What you can also do is save this as a particular dashboard or export the actual raw data. As an instance, I do have a syslog enabled save search that I've created into a dashboard and you'll see here with the data attached. This is searchable so if you wanted to go to a field name like user underscore name and in this case I'm going to choose the user JDAR you'll be able to see the instance in these logs when this particular user has executed or done some things and you'll notice the logs the authentication logs and things going on inside the data. Once you have dashboards built, now what you can do is go into Enterprise and Reports and start to build your reports that you want to see shipped via email or in other formats so that you can get data out. So in an example here, I've got a syslog dashboard report. I built it and in this report, we have some fields we can edit. You can change the time zone. You see the preview here on the right of currently what fields have been selected. But as far as contents, you'll see you can reorder these by moving them around so that they appear how you want them into the report. These are individual widgets that I've added. You can now go back and add more widgets. And in the syslog, you'll notice all the different widgets that are in here. And the ones in blue are in the report. Ones you might want to add, you just click those and say add widgets, and they'll appear. And you can reorder them accordingly. In the delivery of the report, you can set it up on a schedule and set a frequency of the schedule. You'll see the email subject. You can send it to particular users or email to a group. When the style is set up, you can set up whether it's US letter A4, change the orientation, add your logo, add a header text, and choose footers and table of contents when adding those individual names to the widgets to each page. When it's delivered, you have a choice of what type of file you want to have. It's PDF, CSV, or multiple other types that are here. This report could be used to import data somewhere else at your use. Greylog Security adds additional functionality to Greylog, Enterprise Log Management, and SIM. With a Greylog Security license, you'll find Sigma rules for out-of-box content, which is an always-on search of known threats searching your data. Anomaly detection for looking at patterns over time and finding things outside the normal activity and alerting. 
of Investigations Management, where Grelo can manage, detect, and give you guidance on remediation steps for incidents using AI, and asset enrichment for context over time for your data. Let's look into the Graylog security features. With the Graylog security license installed, Search has some new additional options inside. When you open a log message, you do have the ability to click on specific fields that are context sensitive. In this case, you'll notice we have a destination IP that's been added to a watch list. That's done by just going up to the actual IP address, clicking on it and adding it to the watch list. You can also from there look up the actual IP on VirusTotal, Noise, and Robtex. Other context sensitive fields like hash values when clicking on those, allow you to look those up on Alien Vault, Malshare, and VirusTotal. Other field types like username will allow you to add those to watch lists as well, giving you more information and monitoring these individual items inside your gray log. When you go to gray log, the primary welcome screen is the default. However, there is another option. When you drop down and go to security, you do have a new security analyst perspective or view. This view gives you the ability to look at some of your assets and also threat coverage. This is a new widget that's been added. As you utilize Illuminate Curated Alerts and you enable them, you get individual rules that will identify the different types of tactic names that are used and it will provide you a spider chart or radar chart on which ones of those that you've enabled has provi provided you the coverage. So in this particular window, you'll see the coverage is here. Next, what I'd like to show you is in these Sigma rules, when you click on Sigma rules, again, these have been loaded from many different packs within the Illuminate package for curated alerts. Once you've enabled these, this is when they show up inside the spider chart as noted before. You can do multiple things here for bulk actions. You can enable or disable groups. You can add a notification so you can alert a Slack channel and get that information. You can download them so you have them locally stored outside of Greylog if you want. Inside Greylog in the curated alerts, when you go into events, security events, you'll notice things that are occurring. There's a risk score that's assigned to these. The risk score is generated from a variety of things, being the actual alert risk, the asset affected, and a combination of things that are added and enriched with the data. For one, assets can be added in Greylog. You can prioritize those individual assets. You can get sources from LDAP Active Directory and Microsoft 365 or add them yourself. Other risk that you can add or modify to enrich your logs is vulnerability scanners. So as you'll see here, we have Nessus and Defender. When you import those vulnerability scans and those results come back with risk scores and CVEs for those individual users or equipment machines, this is what will then take back the risk score. So as you get alerts in the security events, your scores will go higher depending on which assets have most risk. This will allow you to prioritize your investigations when actually executing investigations on some of these. When you do go into investigations and you've created these from your events, your investigations here have been created as an example, this potential phishing attack. This gives you your dwell time from the time it was opened and all your time to detect information with the actual attack. When you open the investigation, all of the logs and all of the information is being attached as you search your logs. You can add them to an investigation as you look at those individual logs. We do have a new feature for GenAI where you generate an AI report based on these logs and you will get a notification that it's going to generate the report. This report, when it builds, will look at all the logs in the context of what's occurring in the actual logs. With these logs, you'll have the ability to look through what the activity is what minor attacks have been identified with some of these attacks, the impacts, and the recommendations to mitigate or eliminate the malicious activity. This allows the analyst to be guided into the investigation. Many analysts looking at a lot of alerts have a hard time determining which is priority. So now with Greylog, you can take the risk priority and run the report and start your way into mitigating and remediating these issues. Greylog offers multiple options to make your data management, retention, and storage costs effective for your organization. Being able to manage where you store your fast searchable high value data or data that can be moved often to long-term storage. 
First, Greylog offers Datanode, a Greylog managed open search service. We offer data tiering for hot and warm storage for cost reduction in your storage needs. We offer data warehousing for storing Greylog process data not counted towards your volume licensing until it's required. And data routing to make decisions on where you want to store your data and archiving for long term cold storage. With Greylog Data Node, you have the ability to take your current open search service and migrate it to a Greylog managed data node service. This allows you to get inside of Greylog the actual statistics and performance of your current data node, as well as the configuration for all of your certificates and client certificates, and the ability to migrate right within Greylog the open search service or open search cluster directly into a Greylog data node cluster. For managing your data tiering, Inside the indices, you'll notice a data tiering option. This allows you to set your maximum days in storage and minimum days in storage before archiving or deleting and setting up a warm tier to an S3 bucket. You also have the ability to create a data warehouse. You create a backend, which can be set up to go to S3 buckets and configuration that allows you to set the requirements of what this is for and how long you're going to use it. This does not count towards your licensing as Greylog will process the data through pipelines and rules and route that data into the data warehouse. As you go through time, you might need to require to pull that data back in for an investigation. You'll have that information and pull it back in at that time. And Greylog offers cold archiving for all of your needs. For a more in-depth look of Greylog, go to greylog.org and check out our resources or click that contact Greylog button. Thanks for watching.